cornered inside against Matuga. Kick it to Q. Q crosses over in on Matuga. Opportunity. Three offensive rebounds. Kennedy drive inside, falls down, scoops it. We continue in the Buffalo Stampede here at the CU Event Center. Voice of the Buffs, Mark Johnson. CU women coming off a split last weekend, a win over Washington State. They won two of fours at that point in time. Then a senior, they lost to Washington. <laughs> Emma Clark, we're talking seniors, but we're talking with a freshman here to get youthful perspective uh, on the Buffaloes. Well, congratulations on the win first off against Washington State. Kind of take us through that one. Nice ball game, couple of players in 20-point uh, range. Yeah, um, definitely when um, Kennedy came back, everyone was really like hyped and we just wanted to go out and get revenge because they beat us by 30 last time, so we really had to step up and we had a really good week of practice. Went into the game hungry to win, and then Peanut and Q had a really big game, and we just had a lot of fun. You yeah. know, Kennedy coming back from the extended period, was she on 10 games, I think. That yeah. takes an enormous leader and, and producer out of the lineup for you guys. A lot for a young team to overcome, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, um, especially mm -hmm. in practice. We didn't really have like that vocal presence. Mm -hmm. And on the court, like Sila, being the, like the new freshman, it was, it was, it was hard at the start, but I mean we managed. <laughs> as you have kind of gotten more minutes as the season's gone along because of injuries and the, the way you play and those kind of things, what do you think you've learned about the game at this level? Um, it's definitely different to where I'm where I'm from. Um, it's a different pace, different like level, different athletes. Um, but yeah, just um, getting through it and like really giving it our best shot. Definitely like. You just got to go out, and it's just for the team. It's just not orient like orientated on yourself. You know, when I say Emma's got a southern accent, I'm not talking about the south. I'm talking about Australia. How did you become a Buffalo coming all the way from down there? Um, Coach T called me up one day. He's yeah. like, so what are you doing? Are you staying in Australia? I said, no, I want to come to college, <laughs> but haven't heard from you guys yet. So I came on a visit in May last year and then mm -hmm. moved out here in June. What did the family think about that? Because that's just not like driving over from Nebraska, for goodness sakes. Yeah, um, they really wanted me to like pursue my dreams and mm -hmm. come over. And so, yeah, um, it was really it was hard for them at the start. But yeah, it was it was what I really wanted to do. All so right. Well, we're certainly glad that she's here for the Colorado Buffalo. She had a nice game against Washington. We'll talk more about that in a moment. As we mentioned, the victory over the Cougars bouncing back on senior day here at the event center, though. Last game for Kennedy Leonard, Alexis Robinson. Not a win for the Buffs, but we did hear from the seniors after the ball game. Senior night is always the last home game, so we only have two seniors on our team this year, Alexis Robinson from Kentucky and Kennedy Leonard from Texas. Um, you know, both been really great buffs for a long time in their four years here. Before the game, we had like a little ceremony, got our uniforms, had some videos of us. Um, it was a super emotional day. It was a good day. I mean, it's a, it's a turning chapter in my life, but it was a, definitely an emotional day. It was a sad day. It was awesome to do it in front of my family, though. I mean, it, was, it was definitely tough to watch, just to watch my team compete and not be able to fight with them, but they did a great job, and I mean, I'm super proud of them for fighting as hard as they did. Come on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So I've been here for four years now. I've had a, a new coaching staff and everything and a lot of teammates, but I think that the part that's made it the most fun is having all those teammates. Of course, I'm gonna miss my teammates a lot. I mean, they're all my sisters. Like, blood really couldn't make us any closer, but I love them all to death. I'm gonna miss them a lot. They just bring a lot of stability to our program. They bring a lot of passion and fight and competitiveness. Uh, they're a great example in that regard to their younger teammates. Um, they've taken great care of their young teammates over the years, and they'll definitely be missed by everybody. Always a little sad, a little tearjerker, but I'm really thankful for the experience that I've had over the last four years, and me and Lex, um, and, and for the program that we've been able to leave behind. See you later, Buff Nation. Well, when it's all said and done, those two will go down as some of the greatest players in Colorado basketball history on the women's side. What do you think you've learned from you know, Kennedy and Lex over the course of your time here with them? Definitely how important leadership is. Um, mm -hmm. Their vocal presence on the court, like I was saying, and just like how supportive they are of like the freshmen and the younger class. Um, they're always there supporting us, getting us in the gym, getting us to lift more in the weight room, just really pushing us to get our best potential out of both us. Both of them are gym rats. I mean, you got to learn that from me. The commitment both those two have, right? Yeah, always. Kennedy's always in here getting up extra shots, <laughs> and Lex is always in the weight room <laughs> lifting more. But Was it yeah. a little emotional to start that game? So, so Kennedy's come back to play a couple of games now after the injury. 
injury. Lex went out there and started and then rolled the ball down the court. That was a little emotional, wasn't it? I know, especially when we had to plan it and we had to say, okay, Maya's going to tip it to Lex and Lex is just going to roll it out. <laughs> but um, it was great that the, um, the crowd stood up and it yeah. was, yeah, it was a really emotional. All right, now yeah. there's still work to do for the Sea Women's Ten. Got two yeah. games on the road against LA this week. Mm -hmm. And I know you're hoping to make some noise to the uh, Pac-12 Conference Tournament as well. How about these uh, games against uh, USC on Friday and then UCLA on Sunday? We're getting the get, when we won the first game against USC, that was like our first win in the Pac-12. So we were all really, really excited for this weekend. Hopefully, mm -hmm. we can match it. And UCLA, it was a really close game the first time, so we're just trying to push over this time. Has that been one of the harder things for this team, considering how close you've been so many times? It just came up short a yeah. handful of times. I mean, everything happens for a reason, but we've been so close. So it just really shows how like how much potential we have, especially going into Pac-12 tournament. Yeah. How about J.R. Payne? What what's kind of her message been? to persevere through all of this? Well, we have had a pretty rough season, injuries and setbacks and people just having their own problems, but um, we've, stuck to get, we've stuck together and like fought together. So really, if we do it together, we can do anything. It's kind what of will what you, she's been saying. What will you take as you go to your sophomore season from this where Emma says, okay, I gotta get better on this. This is where I'm taking my game to the next, next level, if you will. Um, definitely hard work. Um, mm. Like we've been pushing this whole year, but really just getting around my teammates probably at practice right. and telling them we gotta we gotta get better. I like it. Well, congratulations to the freshman. He's not over yet. Not All over right. Yet. Good luck this weekend <laughs> in Los Angeles. Emma Clark joining us from the CU women's basketball team Friday night USC uh, on the road against LA, and then of course the UCLA game on Sunday.